everybody. I have a video here for you today, but before I start, I'd just like to thank Ed Opperman for having me on his radio show, The Opperman Report. Just got done recording that. I enjoyed the, our talk. Today we're going to go back to ancient America. We're going to go down to Idaho. We are going down to Cooper's Ferry, Idaho to be precise. And some research here has made some pretty good finds, pushing human evidence here back 16,000 years. Here is a look at the Cooper's Ferry site and the arrow points to where this research is going on. It says, archaeologists have uncovered almost 200 stone artifacts, including projectile points and flake tools and bone fragments from large mammals at the Cooper's Ferry site in western Idaho. The discovery suggests that humans lived in the area 16,000 years ago, more than a thousand years earlier than scientists previously thought. They therefore arrived in the Americas before an inland ice-free corridor had opened. The projectile points from the site closely resemble these found in Japan, supporting the hypothesis of a Pacific coastal route. Now here is a look at some of the stone artifacts that were found here. Spear points and other things. It says many artifacts from the Cooper's Ferry site are associated with the dates in the range of 15,000 to 16,000 years old. Prior to getting these radiocarbon ages, the oldest things we'd found dated mostly in the 13,000 year range. And the earliest evidence of people in the Americas had been dated to just before 14,000 years old in a handful of other sites. And it says the dates from the oldest artifacts challenge the long-held Clovis first theory of early migration to the Americas was suggested that people crossed Siberia into North America and traveled down through the opening in the ice sheet near the present-day Dakotas. The ice-free corridor is hypothesized to have opened as early as 14,000 800 years ago, well after the date of the oldest artifacts found at Cooper's Ferry. Now we have good evidence that people were in Idaho before the corridor opened. The evidence leads us to conclude that the early peoples moved south of the continental ice sheets along the Pacific coast. The researchers also found tooth fragments from an extinct form of horse known to have lived in North America at the end of the last glacial period. But the theory of people using the coastlines and using boats to get here makes a lot more sense than them wandering and finding a corridor through the massive glacial ice sheets. That makes more sense to me. But why do people have to have had some sort of way of getting here? Why couldn't they have always been here? Now this is Science Magazine's website. And I will leave some links below, and I will leave a link in the future when that radio interview is going to be aired. But it says here, ancient people apparently followed rivers more than 500 kilometers inland to Cooper's Ferry in western Idaho. It says, the first people in the Americas came by sea. Ancient tools unearthed by Idaho River suggests about 16,000 years ago on the banks of a river in western Idaho, People kindled fires, shaped stone blades, and spear points, and butchered large mammals. All were routine activities in prehistory, but their legacy today is anything but. The charcoal and bone left at the ancient site, now called Cooper's Ferry, are some 16,000 years old. The oldest radiocarbon dated record of human presence in North America, according to the work, and that is up for a little speculation because new stuff is being found every day that pushes the history of this country and the people who were here originally back thousands and thousands of years. Here is one of the oldest projectile points found at the site dating back 16,000 years. And here is another link I'll leave below. It says North America's oldest human artifacts found in Idaho. And here is them doing work at the site. It says here the traditional model is that people came into the New World from Northeast Asia and walked across the Bering Land Bridge before coming down the middle of the continent in an ice-free corridor. Those people supposedly brought the technology to make Clovis-type blades and spear points with them and then spread their shared culture across the continent. That's the model currently taught in most history books. The site of Cooper's Ferry doesn't fit with this model. For one, the ice-free corridor probably didn't exist when humans first arrived at Cooper's Ferry. Scientists think it didn't open until about 15,000 years ago, roughly, which means these early people had to find a different route south. Other early sites challenge this theory, but none were this old, and the oldest date were dated with a method considered less precise than radiocarbon dating. This is another domino in the collapse of the Clovis First idea. 
and the idea that people walked down an ice-free corridor some 13,500 years ago? What's really interesting about Cooper's Ferry is that it takes things a little further. It offers some big potential avenues for figuring out these big questions, but it says they support an alternative theory to the ice-free corridor, one where instead of traveling to the New World by land, ancient Americans came by sea. They traveled from Asia to North America by island hopping and hugged the shore following a coastal kelp highway, it is called, full of shelter bays and rich with food. The idea was once controversial, but in recent years it's gained support. The stem points were extremely similar to a type found in Hokkaido, Japan, also dated to around 16,000 years ago. This combined evidence supports the hypothesis that the first Americans didn't arrive by land, but by boats. When you look at illustrations of the stem points from Japan, and the kind we find at Cooper's Ferry, it's really striking and very exciting. Though it is not definitive, he says, it offers new avenues of study. So I just find this very interesting, and I guess this place just missed the massive Lake Missoula flood coming from around 12, 13,000 years ago. I guess it was just a few kilometers away where that flood went through and demolished and erased everything that existed prior. And here is a map on how they theorize that people got to Cooper's Ferry following the Columbia River Basin. And were those river basins the same back 16,000 years ago? Well, I'm sure they were there, but they were mainly carved out in the epic flooding 12, 13,000 years ago. That is another Ancient America story. This comes from Idaho. There it is. Hope you thought that was cool, and you all have a very nice day.